Well, welcome back. Morris Chestnuts is a comedy variety show for all ages. It's hilarious, it's outrageous, and the proceeds support young people attending college. Good Speech Entertainment teamed up with the Martin Luther Kings of Comedy to present this holiday show. So we want you to please welcome Aaron Branch, who is a comedian and producer of this show, which we is should happening. should just start clapping. Thank, right you. Right, Aaron. There Thank you, go. you so Woo! much. <laughs> This That's all, what you need is a, an applause and some laughter. Yeah, right? now I feel like I'm at home. There you go. And right. this th this set makes me feel at home. I feel like I'm in like a penthouse right now. Like, this <laughs> right? Is really, really, I like really it. Cool. This is really it's awesome. so great to meet you. Tell us about the show that's happening tomorrow. Doors open at 7, shows at 7.30, tickets still available. Yes, yes. Uh, so pretty much uh, the MLK's of Comedy and Good Speech Entertainment uh, teamed up with the MLK uh, Scholarship Fund as well as uh, Matters of the Heart Church. Um, and we've decided to uh, put together a fundraiser to help the youth go to college. Um, That's awesome. Yes, exactly. The MLK Fund has done a lot of really awesome things for the youth of Milwaukee. And for the holiday season, we thought it would be in our best interest. Um, and also, we care about people, and we want to help the kids go to college, man, because school is important, you know? That's right. It is. I like it. It is. All right, so as producer of the show, uh, yes. I'm thinking about buying a ticket. What can I expect? You can expect a lot of characters, a lot of off-the-wall stand-up, uh, socially aware stand-up, and a lot of sketch material. Do you guys like sketch comedy? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. What kind of topics do you hit? We, I mean, we hit anything from racial injustices to um, woke stand up. That's kind of like What's the way woke? They look. woke. Woke is being aware. Woke is being aware of um, everything around you, like and knowing politics? the truth behind it. Uh, it can be politics. It can be social politics. She's not woke. You're not. <laughs> We're going to get you there. Sure. You're going to come to the show. It's going to be awesome. I think I need to, so I'm a little more aware. Right. right? But I like yeah. that. I get what you're saying. When somebody, you just want to wake people up. Exactly. Wake people up and be aware of what's happening in the world and actually see that your voice matters, one. And also, you can do something about it, you know? Right. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. that's so fantastic. Um, any su surprise guests? Well, do you guys know who Randy Jackson is? Yes! He's not From, Are you talking about... He's not coming. He's not coming. He's not coming. But that would be so cool that if Randy good, Jackson Aaron. came. There you go. Awesome. No, we have Santa Jackson coming. <laughs> oh, okay. Santa Jackson. Santa Jackson is Randy Jackson's, uh, well, not, well, he's... Cousin. Randy Jackson's cousin, but then he's Santa Claus's <laughs> stepbrother. Um, oh, stepbrother to Santa Claus. Exactly. Okay, yeah. he's going to be there? He's going to be there. Wow, he's okay, that's doing, big. Yeah, he's going to be uh, hosting the event. It's going to be cool. And who benefits from the proceeds? Oh, uh, well, so all of the proceeds are going to the MLK Scholarship Fund, which mm -hmm. will inadvertently be uh, helping kids go to school. So, um, so kids have to apply for this scholarship. Yes. But basically, the funds that you're making from the show are going into the scholarship MLK fund. fund. And then those, and then those, well, I guess that money will be going to... Um, kids in school. All right, so if I go to the show, am I going to have to come up on stage? Do you ask for volunteers? It's very well possible. We do it at every show, almost. <laughs> really? So if you come, I mean, you never know. Aaron, I, anyone up, that Katrina. comes up there, are they ever funny? Like, where you go, all right, come on, we want you to be part <laughs> of our group. It's happened a couple of times. One time, she was funnier than all of us. Just her reaction and her facial expressions, we were like, oh, this is not. Did you go, Molly? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've seen you at a couple of shows, Molly. <laughs> talk about your hair do you style it yourself yeah I know I I have a really dope barber shout out to Manny I don't know which camera but shout out to Manny okay yeah because uh, he gives you a little uh, like real close to the the scalp here and then he gives you a it's, see it's, Molly was not the one at the show well I get I, I get called kid and play a lot I don't know if you guys have seen you know the thing kid and play the fact that, guys oh, really we're not <laughs> Aaron, we told oh, you we're not woke. We're going to have a we long conversation cool, we're not woke. We're not cool, we're not woke, and we yeah. need to know more about your shows so that we can your hair. be woke. Right, yeah. 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 What's up? So your barber, what do you say? Give me the... It's a so it's a um, it's a flat top, but okay. I get a bald fade on the side. A bald, bald fade. A with bald the flat fade top. on the side. A bald fade on the side. Now my barber always tells me not to do the bald fade, but fun fact, I never listen, and <laughs> I really enjoy the bald fade. It's my favorite thing in the world. I there think it's fantastic. Thank so you very how did much. you get yeah. into comedy? So I started comedy when I was 15 years old. Did you know you were funny before that though? No, actually, fun fact, my grandma, when I did my first open mic, I asked her to come. She said, No, I'm not coming because you're not funny. <laughs> 
<laughs> Your grandma? <laughs> a grandma oh, said no, that. grandma! <laughs> so, I, so I was like. That is the first thing of being a great comedian is having a childhood that just is hurtful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's very exactly. loving. Exactly. She's very loving. She's very truth false at the same time. But I, I ended up going to the open mic and I fell in love with just the feeling. I had been doing theater before then, but stand up kind of gave me a whole new realm to be able to kind of express myself in a whole new way. Who's funny in your personal life? I don't mean like celebrity comedians, but who in your life is funny? I think everybody. I mean, being one of the only African American students in an all white school definitely gave me a different perspective. <laughs> I so would I was think. like, I, I mean, I think everything about this is funny. So I think, <laughs> think like, I just, I don't know, I see the world in one way, and then I think that my stand up is just me interpreting it through my own through my own voice. I now love I it. Now I want to go, Aaron. Yeah, yeah I want to see really your great show. interpretation. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Good Speech presents Morris Chestnuts, a holiday community variety show. You had Tempting me at Chestnuts. Tomorrow, <laughs> doors open at 7, show 7.30. It's on um, 27th Street in Milwaukee. You can find out more about tickets by visiting this web website. It's MLKS, like MLK, uh, Martin Luther King's so, yeah. of Comedy. So it's just, MLKSofcomedy.com slash events. Yes, it is. It's right Did up there. Did I say that right? It's right okay. there. Yeah. Nice job. Love it. Thank great you very meeting much. you. I appreciate Happy it so holidays. Much. Thank you guys for having Have me. Have a great show. Say hello Thank to you. Santa Jackson for us. <laughs> Santa Jackson! <laughs> Santa Jackson! <laughs>